Hi guys, so this is my everyday spring look and so I'm taking my Stridex uh, facial cleansers that are alcohol free. I'm going to rub my face completely clear. That's me showing you that it takes off any excess makeup. Then, breath of fresh air from Lush and a cotton pad. I'm going to spray it on the cotton pad till it's really wet and then I'm going to just wipe my face. And Breath of Fresh Air is a nice toner. It feels really good to my skin. It helps my skin tone. Like, uh, just look up toners. They are amazing for your skin. I suggest that you get them. I'm just going to fan my face. Now I'm taking my Garnier BB Cream in Pale White. I'm going to squeeze just a little bit on my finger. I'll show you in a second. I was attempting to show you there, but see, just all over my finger. And then I'm going to dot it over my face and then rub it in really well and blend it out with my skin. If you want to see a really in-depth um, like foundation routine, I do have one on my channel. It's quite a bit long, but I go into lots of depth and it could be helpful. Don't really know. <laughs> I think it is. Um, I use lots more products than I do on a regular daily basis, but that was mostly just kind of if I was going all out. Oh, I'm just washing my hands, guys. I am like a freak about having clean hands while I'm putting on my makeup. So that's what I'm doing there. Then taking Physician's Formula Conceal RX in Natural Light. I'm going to squeeze just a little bit onto my ring finger to put on my face and blend. And see, I'm, I'm just blending there. Um, again, in my foundation video, I have a really in-depth talk about how I blend out my concealer. So you guys can watch that if you want. Um, but just to say it here in case you don't want to spend time doing that, I just kind of rub it in, pat it in, just kind of as needed to get it to blend in, but also cover. And I do my under eyes on here, but uh, my under eyes just don't really get as well blocked. Oh, I'm using my Stridex wipe, which I keep after washing my face with it, to clean off my fingers. Now taking Urban Decay's Makeup Setting Spray by Skindinavia. I'm going to just spray my face like twice to help set the powders. Then taking Maybelline's Dream Wonder um, Powder Foundation in Ivory and a Kabuki brush from H&M. I'm going to just set my foundation and concealer. I do this by just lightly taking on small amounts onto the Kabuki brush because it is medium coverage, so it, it's very heavy. You can just build it up, so I suggest only using a light amount, and then I just work in sections. And I mostly brush and stipple this on in a combination of the two. This is also how I like to blend out um, any lines. Um, around my face that I maybe didn't get with my fingers. It's a handy way of doing that. Next taking Maybelline's Fit Me brush and a Sonia Kashuk brush brush. I'm going to just mix it around and pat off any excess and just put that on the apples of my cheeks and blend upwards. I love this then I'm taking my Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray once more. I'm just going to spray this about three times all over my face to fully set the powders that I put on. Now taking my e.l.f. liquid um, eyeshadow primer. I don't think it's liquid actually. I'm going to just put that on both my eyes and then rub it in with my fingers using my ring finger. Um, just going to rub it in all over my lid. I'm going to then take my Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay. This is a great profit use thing. I can do a review on it. Um, I'm going to take the second lightest shade, which is Foxy, I believe. Um, I'll leave all of this stuff down below. I'm going to use a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and put it all over my lid on both eyes. And this is a like nice, just matte color. And then using Walk of Shame, which is a nice matte pink color in the same eye 
um, eyeshadow brushes before. I'm going to put this in the crease and in a corner of my eye. Um, I'm just kind of like work with it because it helps in my eye. Sometimes I just skip using Foxy and go for that one instead. Now I'm taking um, Naked 2 and a e.l.f. eye blending brush. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the crease and outer corner of my eye, but I'm not going to do a V or anything. It's just kind of like a nice circular warm type of thing. I don't know. It kind of like warms up your eye, makes your eyes look bigger, um, and Naked 2 is a nice matte brown. Now taking, um, oh this color is actually probably Foxy. I can't remember. Anyways, um, this dark brown color and the same brush as before, I'm going to put this just in the outer edge and then blend with my fingers so that there's no harsh lines and it is instead just soft, if you couldn't see, sorry. Um, I was looking at this like through the corner of my mirror. I'm using Venus, which is the white shimmery, it's actually really dirty white. Um, I'm going to put that in the middle of my eyelid just because that opens up the eyes, then also in the inner corner of my eye and on my brow bone as a highlight using my ring finger. And all of these just helps to highlight and, um, what's the word, open and awaken your eye. Um, just cleaning off my fingers. I'm now going to take Stila's Waterproof um, Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. I'm going to shake it up and just apply it. I'm sorry you can't really see. I can do a full video on how to just do winged eyeliner because I've been told I'm very good at that and I agree with that opinion. Not to sound cocky or anything. And my hand was kind of blocking the camera here. Um, I just kind of go out, build up from the middle, out, and then draw a triangle, and then connect the lines. And I do also go a little bit on the lower lash line, just a very small amount in, very thinly, just to kind of border line that and make my eyes look bigger. I am all about that. And I'm not going to show you me doing my left eye, just my right. I'm going to show that with the mascara too. Oh. I'm now curling my eyelashes with just a plain curler I got from H&M. I'm taking the Falsies uh, Black Drama from Maybelline in the darkest black. <laughs> and I'm going to just put that on my eyelashes. And yeah. Um, I guess I just like shimmy it up and blink it on. I don't really think there's a method to putting it on. <laughs> I'm sorry if you do have a method, please leave it in the comments down below or tweet me at Cinna124. <laughs> I don't know. I do both top and bottom lashes. Um, sorry, I'm kind of out of the shot as I mentioned before. I'm doing this out of the corner of my mirror and can't really, I only can see like a fraction of the camera screen. So this is just my CoverGirl pencil um, liner, uh, I'm not liner, uh, eyebrow, shadow, eye, blah, 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 eyebrow filler inner, whatever it's called, in midnight brown I believe and I'm just going to fill in any sparse spots in my brows with this. I really like this pencil, it's, it's good, yeah, not much to say. Then, if I have time, I'm going to curl my hair. So here I'm just brushing it, and oftentimes this is actually what I'll just leave it as, which is brushed, nothing else more. But then I'm going to take my Revlon curling wand in just a minute. And then, oh, actually no. Take Tresemme heat protectant, very important. And then, I'm going to spray my hair and then brush through it again just to get rid of, like, well not get rid of, like, but to help um, spread it anywhere it might not have. I'm mostly focusing on the roots because my roots are where it's real damaged good. Um, now is it where I take, 
Do I? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I take my curling wand and I'm going to actually separate my hair in halves. And then I'm going to just start curling lightly. And I'm just going for a relaxed curl look, kind of wavy. Um, I'm going to also kind of brush through the curls of my fingers and I, oh, sorry, I messed up. I got a little bit ahead of myself, so I don't separate. I realized how futile it was to try and curl my hair all at once. And then I separate it into halves. I typically do this for more fancy dancy little curls, but today I was just like, my hair's not happening. Let's just get this down with. And then just curling like that, only hold onto the wand for a couple seconds. And that's like, that's all you need. Do not be that girl who burned off her hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so bad for her. And yeah. Okay, so with the help of my dog Lily, I'm going to display my outfit. There are my shoes, which are from Forever 21. You can see them featured in my haul video. Then the shirt is from PacSun, also in my haul video. Um, I just kind of put back parts of my hair. My nails are Essie's cute as a button. My ring, my silver rings are from American Eagle. My gold ring is from Claire's. My bird necklace is from Claire's. My pants are from American Eagle. Goodbye. I love you.